Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED trailer tail light. When it comes to trailer lighting, it seems like it's one of those things that never fails to give you trouble, you know, and it, people are hard on trailers. They sit for a long time out in the elements and everything else. And so if you're kind of tired of dealing with it, you can always upgrade to an LED type light like this. You know, they're much more reliable than your traditional style incandescent uh, bulbs. You know, there's no little filaments in here that can break uh, from hitting bumps and everything else. And, uh, you know, the LEDs just last so much longer. You know, they don't really burn out. Um, and they're brighter. You know, they take less amperage to run and everything else. So a uh, little bit safe, more safe there, more reliable, everything else. And not to mention too, I think they look cooler. You know, I know it's just a trailer, but Compared to this one, I think they have an advantage in terms of the appearance uh, as well. There is going to be a total of 10 LEDs uh, in this particular light, and it'll provide you with a taillight signal, your turn signals, and your brake lights. So it kind of covers all your bases there. Uh, in terms of how big the light is, all right, the length of it is going to be 6 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. The height, going to be two and one eighth of an inch and as far as the thickness goes uh, so the end of this piece of plastic to the lens is about an inch and three quarters so pretty standard um, uh, you know they also you can also get grommets like this uh, separately that way if yours are worn out or if you're making a new hole and building a new trailer or whatever uh, that way they can snap in there and you can also pick up uh, the pigtails as well here that way you have all new wiring and stuff and that's what i suggest doing you know while you're in here changing the stuff spend a little bit of extra time rewire it use buck connectors and things like that just to have it all new call it a day and you're not going to have to worry about it uh, these are also submersible so perfect example our trailer today is a boat trailer and obviously the back of it will go in the water uh, whenever they launch and pull the boat out and so nothing to worry about there I do suggest that it's just good practice. Make sure the lights and everything are turned off. Uh, uh, don't have power to them whenever you're doing that, just to be on the safe side. Other than that though, you know, pretty straightforward, not a whole lot to it. Optronics makes some good stuff. Uh, you know, we use our lights and, and things like that all the time. Don't really get any complaints. And even if you're not looking for, let's say a tail light, you're looking for something a little bit different. There's a lot of different options out there. So for example, uh, today we have, these are actually reverse lights, so when you're launching the boat it makes it a little easier to see. These are just clear and they shoot out white light. Uh, I believe they have clear lens ones like this that have red bulbs, um, orange or amber colored ones, uh, kind of a mix of all different types. So, you know, you'll kind of be able to play off that and find the ones uh, that you need and the ones that you want. Um, as far as getting this installed, I mean, the light essentially just plugs in. Uh, anyone should be able to figure that out. What we did, we put a new harness and everything on ours today. So we'll show you that um, in case you need that information. So why don't we go ahead and do that together now. To begin our installation, we first need to remove all of our old stuff. So these lights usually just pop out. Get that out of here and we'll unplug it, get rid of it, and we're gonna be replacing uh, this harness here because it's spliced in, it's old, it's showing some corrosion and everything else. So we'll uh, get rid of that. I like to try to remember, so our yellow wire goes to the red harness wire or connector wire, brown wire goes to the black, and then whites are ground, so. I'll cut all these and as far as our ground wire that's just connected to the frame so I will grab a socket and a screwdriver and pull this bolt out so once that's off we'll pull our old harness out of the way and so you can see it's pretty corroded and rusty and stuff in there. And one of the most important parts 
So having your lights work properly is having a good clean ground uh, contact. And so what I'm going to do, I'd like to utilize the hole that's already there instead of drilling a new one. So what I'm going to do is come back with a wire brush and a scraper and while we have all this room, clean this up to uh, good bare metal, that way we have a proper ground. So we got our ground surface cleaned up. Now we can get our wires ready. So I strip back one already. What you're gonna do is just strip back the insulation, give that wire a good twist, and take our harness. And I've connected one butt connector on it already. And these butt connectors you will have to pick up separately. This is what I suggest using. They're heat shrinks. They just, uh, they work really well keeping them clean and uh, corrosion free. We slide that over the bare end and crimp it down. And if you remember, originally the yellow wire went to red. So that's what we'll do here. And the black wire I went to brown and with the heat shrinks you can come back with a heat source and seal up the ends. So I taped this up uh, our connections just for an added layer of protection and then we can take our ground wire with this pre-attached ring terminal and ground that to the chassis. So I'm just gonna use the same stuff here. Put our screw up through there, get the nut started, and tighten it all down. With the ground and all the other wires hooked up, now we'll just take our grommet Put that back in place and we'll take our new light, get that connected. And simply just uh, push back into the grommet. It is a good idea to test uh, everything. That way we make sure it's working properly. So I hooked into a test box. If you don't have one of these, you can hook up to your uh, tow vehicle, but keep in mind if you have an issue on that side, you know, it could mislead you into thinking it's something you did with the light. But that said, we'll go ahead and turn on our tail lights. So we got those working, and with this being the left side of our trailer, we'll hit the turn signal as well, and then our brake light. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Optronics LED trailer tail light.